things are heating up out there, aren't they? <laughs> I've sure had a, an interesting few days. And in fact, yesterday I felt like I got a bit beat up and I had to take a little refuge and just recharge my batteries because... Yeah, um, if it wasn't bad enough the other night with the global hit piece on the concerns of many regarding mandatory masking that we all know is to come. And many of us wanting to get ahead of it here and get a true picture as to what's going on. I realized the global media is just another propaganda arm for the NWO and Agenda 2030 goals, that's for sure, because we all saw that. And the articles I'm picking out that are literally shifting and shaping public opinion, it's mind boggling. And global is as bad as CBC, I have to say, when you really start watching. You see, we here in North America and in the West think that our media is media, that it's free, and it's not. It's nothing but nonsense when you read into it all day. And when you disassociate yourself from it, as much as I do, it's so much easier to spot. And then you start going, oh my gosh. <laughs> you, you really start to realize how much of this propaganda you are surrounded with. And that's what we're up against. The censorship is ridiculous. And how in the world... And why in the world should I be bringing people to YouTube when they're just burying my stuff? I'm putting effort and work and they've done everything they can to make sure I can't get ahead. It's frustrating. And again, it's part of this new social credit, social con construct that they are creating. That gives you the perception, like in China, that you're getting the whole picture. <laughs> Yet you've got generations that will argue with you that Tiananmen Square ever occurred. This is what's going on here. And after, of course, the global hit piece, then I got personally targeted and I didn't find out about that till later the following day in the afternoon and it was one gal here in Regina who had actually been on the global comments hating me. <laughs> they incited hate. They did. And she actually was defending my honor. <laughs> it was so sweet. And she made a lot of good points. And then a few times I saw her doing that. And then I came in behind her. And then later on, she found this piece emerging from Saskatoon. about, And it was a woman who had, apparently a woman, who had depicted me kind of like a Chinese propaganda style hit piece. <laughs> they do this in China. I watched this blogger, a vlogger there, uh, Lao Wai 86 and he profiles it a lot, and it was so reminiscent of it. And also a signature of biotechnology, because the way that they operate is to discredit, make you look stupid. The thing is, what they don't get about me is that I don't give a shit. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't operate in their little society, in their little world. It doesn't bother me that they make me look like an asshole. Because what happened actually was that I put a little call on my Facebook and my friends jumped and they dove in and they reported that video. And they also commented 
and they shot that girl down and made her look like the hater she was. So in fact, it actually worked against her. And then later on, I, you know, after the, I heard the video got taken down, I started thinking like, oh, wow, <laughs> you know what? I couldn't have paid for that publicity. Like this cause, like we got so many people talking about it clearly because there was some serious pushback. So honestly, it was better than if they had just done a milk toast piece and not tried to <laughs> plummet us because that's what they did. They tried to go in for the right? That's what they do, except <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> we know who we are. And now, as a result of this experience, this exposure, we know exactly who they are. Mm -hmm. And now we're getting an opportunity to teach everybody else what's going on. So honestly, I believe in life. Everything that happens, happens for a reason. That's how it rolls. But again, now understanding that they will stoop dive to the bottom with the bottom feeders that they are, I have to take cover. And I also don't want to hold back because I am on my YouTube videos. I'm actually holding back. And I don't want to do that anymore. But if I do it out there, it could hurt me. So I'm going to go say it inside Patreon. Um, number one, I'm Canadian and my prime minister wants to cut free speech and Patreon's a US corporation. So that's why we're going over there. But number two, it's not a long-term solution because as I was creating the account, I realized that I was back in a social credit system. <laughs> and it was like the blueprint of Airbnb signing up. I'm telling you, you guys, this is so well formulated, it's ridiculous. But it's gonna offer me a little layer of protection to get underway what I want to with this great awakening from within. And that is a free exchange of information. And again, where I don't have to hold back, so I'm going to explain how it's all going to work because again, it's blocked off till you pay, <laughs> but I'm going to do um, actually some representatives of, of what I'm doing and kind of put it together in regular YouTube uploads to give you an idea of what's going on. And then again, you can start with the toe dippers and then you can move up the line. The first tier is called Reality Check, and that's pretty much what I've been doing on YouTube thus far, intuitively guided talks about what's going on. If you didn't know that's what I was doing, surprise, surprise. <laughs> but through that experience actually on YouTube thus far, I have actually gotten a whole lot more confident in my intuition and again the process right <laughs> reality check is going to keep you in touch with what's going on pretty much like YouTube was again I'm gonna go deeper Tier two is called Break the Spell. And that's where I fuse what is, what, what's to come, and solutions. In order that we become independent of what's to come, the time 
has never been more pertinent to start to create a future that has you as the master of it and not part of their program because we've seen what the results of that is, haven't we? Exactly. All of this content in all of the tiers is exclusive to Patreon because my messages are going to soon be considered subversive. And I now tier three is where we get to share in the energy and you get of course all the benefits of tier one and two plus I start to introduce you to a little bit more of me and each month I send you a little gift of energy light good intentions and with the hopes of sparking some resonance with you into something again you've never been exposed to and that's where it gets fun so for example maybe you've never tried activated charcoal to brush your teeth i'll send you a little pack I bought this Palo Santo essential oil in Ecuador and I'm going to break it down into little samples and that's going to be gift. That's going to be gifted one month. Cocoa butter bars. Pick those up in Ecuador. Mushroom cacao mix, which is really fun, building immunity. Maybe a stick of Palo Santo again. I brought this back from Ecuador. And the cool thing about this is that it doesn't matter where you are around the globe. I can just put it in an envelope and <laughs> there it goes. Now tier four is where we unleash a little magic of our own because we are dealing with darkness deception and magic and I had a dream that we co-create a crystal grid that spans around the globe my idea is to wire in protection and light and even if you don't believe in the power of it you're gonna get a groovy set of rocks and I think a conduit to the divine light. My idea of the last two tiers really is again, the positive vibes and the connection that we create in our intention of living in our true authenticity. Tier five is the deep dive. And that's more of a one-on-one -on -one personal session each month. So in addition to your tier one to four benefits, you also get one hour one-on-one -on, -one on Zoom. If you're trying to put together a new business, trying to figure out why you can't lose weight, wanting to get yourself physically fit, or trying to manifest the life of your dreams. That's my superpower. I want to help empower you. I don't want to deliver you a program. I want you to become the master of everything that is you. From your health to your business and everything around you. Because it's possible to create the world you want. You just have to know it's within you. I really look forward to seeing you on Patreon. I would very much appreciate your support because my friends, times ahead are getting scary and 
we know the information is being ripped down. I am being censored to a point on BitChute where 20% of my body of work has been deleted. It's only going to get worse. And for now, many creators like me are going to need help in keeping going to be able to do what we do. It's not the world that we grew up in. And free speech won't be here for long if we don't fight for it.